if a function is defined as the absolute value of 3 minus 2x is less than 5, then the interval which does not contain any solution for x is what? So when dealing with absolute value equations or inequalities, the approach that I take is to split this into two separate cases. So the first case is when whatever you put inside here for x, that it simplifies to a positive value and the absolute value bars don't affect it. And the second case is when you put in a value of x, say 2, which will make this entire thing negative once simplified, and then the absolute value bars have to flip the sign, and so that becomes positive. So case 1 is where we have a positive 3 minus 2x, that's less than 5, and in case 2 is where we have a negative 3 minus 2x is less than 5. And with each of these we'll just solve it for x, and then we can combine our two solution sets to create an entire solution set for all values of x. So to solve this equation, on the left here, we just rewrite it without the parentheses first. And then what we can do is add 2x to each side. So we'll have 3 is less than 5 plus 2x. And then we can subtract 5 from each side. So we'll have negative 2 is less than 2x. And then we can divide each side by 2. So we'll have that negative 1 is less than x. So this is 1 half of our solution. And then for the other side, first I'm going to multiply each side by negative 1. And when you do that with an inequality, what happens is the sign flips. So we'll have greater than negative 5. And then from here, I can add 2x to each side. So we'll have 3 greater than 2x minus 5. And now I can add 5 to each side. So I'll have 8 is bigger than 2x. And then dividing each side by 2 will give me my final answer here. So 4 is greater than x. So now that I have my two solutions, I can combine them. And another way to think about this one is just the opposite, that x is less than 4. So the way to combine these is fairly straightforward put x in the middle, and we know that x is bigger than negative 1, and it's less than 4. So this here is the solution set, but what we're looking for is an interval that does not contain the solution. So essentially, any x value outside of this range. So in other words, our answer would be anything x bigger than or equal to 4, and also any x value less than or equal to negative 1. So this here would be the answer to the question.